Eric, this afternoon, we know the need for food is still way up. That said, the Houston Food Bank tells us they're able to meet demand because of donations. The question, though, is about the summer. What's going to happen with COVID and the economy? The super long lines, we're just not seeing those. Our distribution, we were running well over a million pounds a day. Uh, we're now running a little shy, more than 900,000 pounds a day, which is still way above uh, where we were pre-COVID. Um, and we think that that will probably sustain. Houston Food Bank CEO Brian Green says they're planning for the long haul. Knowing food insecurity is directly linked to the economy during this pandemic. Get this, from March 9th to the end of May, the food bank distributed more than 60 million pounds of food. Thanks to donations from companies in the energy sector, dealing with their own financial worries. They stepped up big and it's made a huge difference in our ability uh, to not just say, oh, this is really bad that there's so many people in need, but to be able to do something about it. I've gone further than we ever expected. We thought this was gonna be a 10 to 12 week, life would get back to normal. That seems silly now when you look in the, uh, you know, in, in the rear view mirror. Patrick Brandt is with the group Get Shift Done. They help connect out of work hospitality employees with paid gigs distributing food to the needy. I do think that the need is still there and it's still very acute for uh, you know the people that are it's impacting. And how's this for a sign of the times? The Houston Food Bank tells us even during this pandemic, their disaster planning includes for hurricane season, which we are currently are in. If you need food, if you need help, head over to the Houston Food Bank's website and they will connect you with resources in your community. We are live this afternoon, Steve Camp in 13 Eyewitness News. All right.